I've been fighting against this notion that you're not black enough unless you think a certain way, you vote a certain way, you speak a certain way, you do certain things. My whole life, I grew up military, pretty much neutral along the zone of can we all just get along no matter what we look like. I have biracial daughters, Melissa, you know them. This is more than just a little offensive. It is short-sighted. It is a blind spot for this former vice president. He should have gotten up immediately on whatever venue microphone he had. I would have said it for him immediately right there in the one that he already was in on The Breakfast Club and say, you know what, let me, let me restate that. But, you know, I think this says it better. It is black voices for Trump and their statement. I'm just going to read the first couple of sentences. White liberal elitists have continuously dictated which black Americans are allowed to come to the table and have a voice. It is clear now more than ever following these racist and dehumanizing remarks that Joe Biden believes black men and women are incapable of being independent or free thinking. He truly believes that a 77-year-old white man should dictate how black people should behave. Biden has a history of racial condescension, and today he once again proved that a growing number of black Americans, and I have always known Joe Biden, does not deserve our votes. That's Katrina Pearson, Trump 2020 senior advisor. You don't have to be any particular race to know when someone puts you down because you're different. 